Come back to another episode of this first message. Thanks, POV. How could this be possible? I haven't spoken to my dad for years and he is gone now. Just like that, Jungkook pulled over at a moment and he climbed out of the car. I don't want to go in there, baby. I am here. Jungkook put his hand around my shoulder, kissed my head. That made my tears fall again. We walk into the mansion. There is my dad placed in an open cafe. Honey held on her brother own crying. My stepmother is sobbing. There is no one to hold her. I feel sorry for her for the first time. She might be not like me, but she always loved my dad. The people who wo- worked at our mansion for a very long time stood in the side of the room, letting the tears line slip now and then. There were almost 12 closer people to our family standing there and said, face Mr. and Mrs. Jian, Jian was also two of them. Mr. Jian nodded at Jungkook once we entered the room and gave a look of sympathy when Mrs. Jian looked kind, kinda said, tears slip it from my eyes soon turn into soap as I saw my dad, it looks like he is sleeping. Jungkook put a hand around my shoulder, bringing me near, letting my tears, letting me cry on his shoulder. Hoon and Hani walked to us. After a few minutes, Jungkook took his hand from me, letting Hani hug me tightly. Crying on my shoulder, we are not that close, but still after each other when needed. We used to close. When I lived here, she was a little girl back then. After I moved out, there was this unspoken distance between us. She used to try talking to me. When I came over for dinner, but I did not get close to her, I was like that back then, mad at everyone, she was close to my dad, losing my, your dad, the twins was my, the dad you love most. There were no words spoken between my sister and me, we just hugged, consoling each other, she took back, sniffing. A few times, what I did not expect is a hug from Hoon. I hugged him back and certainly it was a quick hug, but still, we are not close. We almost hate each other. We may use as the hover pass. It became dawn. People started visiting my dad's close friend and his family. Few people from the company came to hours past like minutes. Everything was happening firstly. The media was waiting outside. The men and ready to take picture videos. Soon it became a VR in a car to the car. Cemetery. Jungkook did not spoke a lot, but he constantly hugged me, kissing my head, holding me my hand. I'm grateful for that, baby. It's gonna be okay. I'm here, okay? Jungkook squeezed my hand lightly to get my attention. I turned to look at him and nodded slowly. He gave me a comforting smile, taking my hand to his head, then we reached the cemetery. There are a lot of people in here. Hundreds of people, we made our way to the place where my dad was about to be born. My stepmother is sobbing, so is my sister who had a hard time holding both of them. So I went to hold my sister. She again hugged me tightly and soaked. It did not take long time to bore my father and finish the rituals, Kim Ji Sung. 1965 2024 they attached picture of my mom and dad's wedding one with me as five years old kid and my mom and dad the other two are the are his, his current family people started leaving family members out my stepmother then honey the honestly me after a few minutes, there was only us. Another hour passed, which was like minute. My stepmother so 
to silent tears and hold stop it crying he was just there standing with her arm around honey i came back to junk up once she stopped crying my stepmother stood there stuck in her place looking at my dad's stunned stunned and tears fell from her eyes as then mrs jan walk gave her a hug which was which my stepmother returned her heartedly mr jan walk to honey and him i did not expect him to hug them but he did he did not look like a person who showed affection through hugs His face is always expressionless, making me him look intimidating. You can come to me anytime. You are like my kids too. I heard Mr. Jian say, "It's my second time hearing his voice." Hun, Hun and Hani nodded, then stepped back and looked at Jungko. Can me before following her husband, Mrs. Jian did not give me a nasty look like last. She visited our home, but she did not look happy to see me again. Too, she was just standing there to get over with whatever it is. How are you holding up, Thang? Mr. Jian asked, shocking me, but I quickly recovered from it and nodded at his question, not knowing how to respond. Are you taking good care of him? He asked, looking at Jungkook. Yes, Dad. Jungkook replied, holding me. Mr. Jian nodded. You guys should visit us sometime, Mr. Jian said. He did not speak more than a single sentence every time. He is so much like Jungkook that expressionless face, but is still able to show affection to loved ones. Jungkook did not reply to that. We will, Mr. Jian. I replied, sensing Jungkook had no desire to reply. He said, "Call me Ji." Won San, Mr. Jian, Jiwon placed his hand on my shoulder, giving it a light squeeze. I really wish you guys stay happy. Jiwon said, feeling guilty. Well, that's how you should feel when you force some guys to marry your son. Call me up if Jungkook doesn't behave, he said, and pulled. His phone from his pocket. I really shocked. This time, I took his phone from his hand, uncertain, and dialed my number onto it. He, before handing it back to him, Jiwon took the phone and clicked the call button, making my phone ring in Jungkook's pocket. Jungkook ignored Jiwon, hung up. He nodded. Me and look at her. Jungkook. Jungkook did not say anything. Just stood there, looking back at Dad. What's with this family? We should get going. Jiwon said, doing another unexpected thing. He ruffled my hair and patted Jungkook's shoulder before looking at his wife, indicating her to start walking. Jiwon took a step. Mrs. Shyan quickly hugged. Jungkook for a second, like she is worried that Jungkook would force her away, then quickly walk away behind you. I look towards my stepmother, who is still looking at the thunderstorm, like she couldn't believe that her husband is bruised under it. The sun is setting; it getting dark. In an hour or two, I stood there, sighing and moving my head to relax. My massage. Then I felt a hand on my shoulder, massaging it a little. I looked back at Jungkook, and he played, picked his cheek slightly, thanking him. He pulled me near slowly and hugged me closer to him, rubbing my back. Mom, I quickly turned around to see Hoon holding his mom, kneeling on the ground, as Hoon tried to make her wake her. Wake her mom. Bring some water from the car. I said to Jungkook, walking away from them. We walk my stepmother to the bench that was she was placed two steps, twenty steps away from the place they are standing. Jungkook brought the bottle and handed it to Hoon. Honey said. Beside her mom, making her drink some water, I walked to a step and sat on another bench, feeling tired. Then I heard Hoon's voice sitting 
beside me and look up to see Jungkook taking on to his phone, talking on to his phone a few steps away. Hmm? I hummed with my eyes at Jungkook. You guys are really in love, Hoon said, not very surprised. I think so, I replied, looking at the ground. Dad was not feeling well for a week, but he insisted that he was fine. When he started, we, he went and concerts during dinner at the table. We took him to the hospital. He was kept there until uh, 1 o'clock without telling us about his condition. Hoon sighed, rubbing his face. Didn't know what's happening to him. The doctor came out. Uh, to tell that he had a cardiac arrest, he is not coping up with whatever they are trying, they said. It was severe. They went back into the room telling us that they are gonna try their best. Hoon continued. I really did not expect them to say that they, he lost that. They could not save him, Hoon said, his voice shaking. We stay silent for a few minutes after that. You should take them home, I said and nodded. He nodded. Please visit us. Thayhung, honey, missed you and dad always missed you. Even though he didn't say it out, Hoon said, standing up. Tears started from behind my eyes as I, the mention of my dad, I said, holding him, nodding him. Hoon tapped my thigh and he stood up to walk over to the next bench soon they walk out of there but before honey hugging me baby shall we leave jungkook asked once those three people left by holding his hand out for me i took his him and followed him out of there without looking back we were soon home i walked straight to my bed bathroom showered before putting on some clothes before leave, lying on bed it did not take long for my curl up and let out the tears that has been found in my eyes and then i felt jungkook lying beside me i turned around curl up into jungkook's eyes he held me i cried for a long time until i fall asleep then woke up by Jungkook to eat some food, then went to sleep with Jungkook hugging me again. That's how it went for the next three days and my friends visit me every day after class. Jungkook stayed with me almost every minute. Then we got a call. He got a call from my stepmother. Thanks POV. Hello. Um, I spoke on the phone it's my stepmother it's been 20 days since my dad passed away it's the third time she called me in this 20 days but this is my first time picking up her call it's been few days since i finally stopped logging myself in the house to cry away my sadness i heard the croaky voice of her from the other side yeah, I replied, unsure about why she is calling me, not once, but twice in last few days. How are you? She asked, making me have a mini attack. What the heck is happening? Am I dreaming? I pinched myself to taste. Ouch, I hissed when I felt the pain. Hey, thang, are you there? She asked. Huh? Yeah, yes. I replied awkwardly, how are you holding up? She asked again, honestly speaking, not very good. I leaned back onto the couch, sighing, I miss him too. She replied, her voice shaking like she was about to cry. You do? I did not mean to sound mean, but what can i say we have that unspoken hatred towards each other she said at my question i do think he is my husband i love him she replied that's good i guess sister mother i replied well i'm not being nice to her just because she lost her husband she was after me for years i can't bring myself to be nice to her how is your husband then 
she asked i can't tell what she is going for he is fine i replied oh she said she went silent for a second what did you call for i asked not i told trying to sound nice i cannot trust this woman you know i still wish that hon was the one who married jungkook she asked i rolled my eyes at that like she can separate us no way i have been known i replied and bothered yeah hon told me about your meeting and all she replied he told i asked surprised he told me how i can't be a good mother how i need to stop being a witch she replied calmly she replied calmly i could not help but let off a lot at that sorry not sorry wow he called you a witch i thought that was my thing i said still laughing oh please i am trying to be civil you little silly she grunted there we go again so i replied making her cross a few more time it took her a minute to calm down not to speak again i was going to tell you sorry but i don't want any more he grunted sorry for what i am sitting up um sorry for trying to separate you from your husband when i know you are in love she replied slowly as she don't want to tell it but at the same time she wants to ha huh. it's not like you could success in separating us i laughed she really thought she could separate us like that so simple what try me he little silly you think i can't not i cannot um i am sorry she stopped herself from being a silly again so good for you trying to be civil i said to annoy her it take time i am trying she started wow very civil okay good take your time and call me when you are civil enough i said the of ending the call wait she started again damn woman he stopped shouting i said back you are starting to she started again breathing heavily like she is trying to control herself we were silent for a minute again what it is i broke the silence again well i am planning to invite family and friends for a dinner on the memory of shiva on the memory of ji song she said suddenly becoming sad when i ask i don't know after 10 or more days she said then why are you telling me now i ask i don't know i think i am just in a mood to try to be civil with the person my husband loved and care she replied like it's nothing but we both know it's nothing it is she really doing this I'm not complaining but I am good without her trying to be civil with me well that's a second good thing you are going to do in your life then I said once again reeling her up you she stopped herself from blurting out a few few more crosses making me grin devilishly you said you are trying to be civil that does not mean that i will try to after all you did a lot to me not even a single one of it it's good to me okay maybe the most recent one the marriage it and not that bad but that's not acceptable to i said i'm willing to try for you she said making I can't trust this woman I said not believing her words completely well you can take your time she said not at all trying to convince me okay then tell me the day of dinner and all I said also I have something serious to talk about we will talk about it on the dinner day bring jungkook to stay the night here yes, she is offered well we will see just inform me the day i replied okay i will text i call you again she replied then i hang up leaving back onto the couch to go back to sleep but i heard calling bell 
from the front door coming i said it and i enough to they can't hear me from outside the front door then i made my way to the front door to open the door hello mr jian i met with a guy in front in form of cloth like he was uh, here for from his workplace hello i said with a confused look on my face i am hon assistant of mr jian jungkook he introduced himself hello hon i smiled at him in a do all i want to do is go back and sleep you are here for i asked mr jian mr jungkook sent me i can you if you are doing okay seems you are fine thanks what ask them finally looking at him up away then my phone rang in my hand it's jungkook what the heck is wrong with you i asked i guess hon was there i was stuck in the meeting and you did not pick my phone for hours then it said you were speaking to someone else who were you talking to he asked i can hear him shuffling some papers i was sleeping then somehow i heard my stepmother's call i talked to her i replied saying everything good he asked worriedly i think so i shut the door and walk inside there is food in the refrigerator don't forget to eat i will be home within few hours ask jimin or hani to come over if you feel lonely until i can he suggested no need i just want to have sleep i took a long a day off to sleep i will only do that i replied lying on the bed don't forget to eat baby he remember remember me again i will not i don't and don't send people to check on me that guy travel back and forth from the company to here just to check on me if i am alive don't do that i want it's okay baby hon wanted to meet you for a long time actually many of people here want to meet you jungkook said he actually kind of sounded jealous they were all like oh your husband is so cute we saw him only in picture why don't you bring him here in the studio was jungkook intimated at a girly voice made which made me laugh i don't know you were that close to you people you walk i with i as you know like curious i am the artist here was signed for years the artist took here for a long time that's it's like a little family he explained i can't hear him i can hear him smelling news flash jian studio is not a regular studio they have a little family in there i joked making jungkook laugh you wanna come here sometime jungkook asked of course i heard my favorite singer sir jin is an artist of your studio i want to meet him i really love him so much two years back i spent my five months allowance to buy the tickets of his concert i exclaim excitedly His songs are all I need to live. Wow, I can't believe I'm gonna meet him in life. It's fortunate to have a rich husband. I finally realized I am jumping inwardly. Okay, I'm not bringing you here anymore. Junk said into the city. Why not? I have and half minute. Well, not for free. I guess Junk Mumble. You are rich enough. You don't need me to pay you. I am bald. Oh, my navy baby. You can pay me with your body. Jungkook suggested. I can imagine him smoking. Oh, please don't say it like that again. I have been it. Oh, why not? Jungkook asked in a teasing voice. Does it make me sound like I'm a stripper? and i can't even dance without embarrassing myself i can't so you think you can dance you can be a if you 
good dance jungle pass like he is challenging me of course i am the baby doll guys will die to see me i see flippy my imaginary here um interesting jungle is played the words like crushes what are you missing the underestimating my skills i ask in a warning tone a day not baby i'm just planning how to kill the people who see my baby such thing doing such thing jungkook said jokingly and stupid at the word kill i know my silence made jungkook clear that what he said affected me jungkook you should not tell me you should not tell me to worry about it i am worried about worry jungkook i am scared how can i be worried when you came home with red liquid cloth in middle of night is nothing how can i not be worried jungkook you just have to tell me whatever it is please i said helplessly i did not bring this up matter these videos i finally stopped crying every time I think about my dad Jungkook was there for me in all days he slept holding me every night he stayed up with me the nights where I could not sleep crying he made me feel so special i don't think i could have been through it without him he was the best husband i could ever ask for but he still don't let me ask about whatever secrets he was hiding bib he said i am not daring dealing to uh, taking them jungle confessed that's not enough for me to not be very jungle i exclaimed stop worrying about useless things and go eat you are getting thinner these days go eat Jungkook said firmly like there was no chance for me to anger with him with that no i will not i wouldn't do anything until unless you tell me i sat like a five years old kid i was present all these days but not now i can't be not after jungkook know that i know about him he stopped it then go eat jungkook Thang, he called me Thang. You are mad. Why are you mad? I should be the one mad. One, I'm mad. I keep shouting. Thang, Jungkook said in a warning tone before calming himself and he spoke in a calm voice. You did not eat the breakfast I left. for you this morning did you he asked challenging changing the topic so calm so casual like for not freaking talking about the red liquid clothes and weapon in the desk i found the weapon in his desk once i was snooping around the house while he was away for a way i was checking if it was there at the same place once a day if it's gone missing then junk goes to do whatever freak he is doing that's all i figure out in few days i was even snooping into his phone at every chance i get i am trying to know what it is baby go eat lunch it's late junk said again Hey baby, eat. He spoke not very calm this time. Freak you! I shouted into the phone before hanging up. He rang again and again in my hands. Ah, oh, freak you too! I shouted, throwing the phone to the wall, making it die for the real this time. It's been 15 minutes since I was trying to calm myself, but it's not working. I was so I was. to is missing every freaking thing in the house i heard the front door open and followed by fish steps walking on to the living room thanks be be approach as i heard foot steps coming towards the living room maybe jungle called as he reached off 
because it will be Jungkook who else knows the lock of the house. I did not turn around to see him. I heard the removing. I heard him removing his shoes and coat before walking towards me. I raised my eyes to see him standing beside me, rolling his sleeves up, removing his the top few buttons of his shirt to make himself breathe easier. Baby, you broke the phone. He said, looking at my dead phone on the floor. I look at the other way, Charles. I know, but I am mad. You are not eating properly for the last few days. I know you are sad about that. Your dad's dead, so I did not force you, but now, he said, leaning forward, you will eat. He stated his words firmly. I stood up without glancing at him, walking away from there, but he catched my arm. They hung, stop playing, he said, almost warning me, scaring me. I there, there. He goes, calling me, they hung again. I shook my arm out of his grip without a word and walk away. This time he did not stop me. Oh, I guessed as I was lifted onto the air by Jungkook. He gave me like a better way before walking towards the kitchen. He did not look at my face. Instead, he kept his face straight while he was walking. I did not protest, knowing he would not let me go. Then he let me down in the kitchen, motioning me to sit on the stool. I did not away. He sat, walking to the fridge and took out the food before placing it in the oven to heat it. Within two minutes, Jungkook took the food out of it and walked to me. Sit. He forced me to sit on one of the stool and place the food on the kitchen island in front of me. I glared at him, crossing my arms in front of my chest. Jaku just looked at me and dragged another stool to sit beside me. He grabbed the food towards him. I am still glaring at him as he took the spoon of egg rice from the bowl, bringing it to my lips. Here, Jungkook said with the spoon in front of my lips, I did not open my mouth at all. I just glared at him, well, if you don't want to tell me, okay then, I will not eat until he say thank I came back three hours early from work to make you eat, stop being like that and open your mouth. Jungkook said, without moving the spoon from my face. You should not worry about me when you don't want me to worry about you. I retorted, gritting my teeth, moving his hand away. They are different things, he said, bringing the spoon back to my lips. Why are you not telling me, Jungkook? I asked helplessly. I told you not. I stopped him by moving his hand away from my mouth that resulted the rice fell from the floor from the spoon. Don't tell me what that you don't worry and a bar boy say I started standing up. I can't even sleep properly. I am constantly checking beside me to see if you were still there or went away to do whatever freak it is. You think I have no idea what you are doing? You sneak out, coming back with red liquid cloth in the middle of the night. You should, you have a weapon in your day. Seriously, you tell me not to worry. How much, how nice it is. I will not be worried about at all. I started screaming at this point. Jungkook did not stop at me. Are you finished? Jungkook asked once I stopped screaming. I should have been more careful. You were not supposed to see that cloth or weapon. Jungkook mumbled under his breath, but I heard it clearly. But I saw them already, Jungkook. Now, why don't you tell me? I said, as I said, you don't need to worry or even about know about it. It's nothing at all, nothing important, at least, Jungkook said. And the same word. 
is that Hoon said true? Did you kill someone behind that bar? Hoon went. I asked with narrowing eyes. You should concentrate on important things like eating or taking care of your health or whatever you feel important now. Eat, he said, sliding the bowl. Tell me, Jungkook, just tell me yes or no. I don't want to hear nonsense. I ask again. Did you kill someone? Yes or no? I ask, stabbing his chest with my finger. Did you want to know that bad, huh? Jungkook pulled me near between his legs and sit and him sitting on the stool, locking me between his legs. What will you do if it's a yes? He did not give me any time to get out before he talk again or what will you do if it's you know Jungkook asks what will I do I just want to know I just want to know what he is doing I want to know if what Huni says is true or not see you don't need to know cause it's useless information that you should not be worried about Jungkook said putting my arms around my putting his arms around my waist i promise you that i will stop going out in the middle of night if you are worried about it okay jungkook asked calmly why did you kill that guy jungkook behind that bar the one who saw and told me about i asked after a few minutes of silence he's staring at the floor jungkook did not reply i look back into his eyes i ask you more than a hundred times if it is true or not but you did not deny it not even a single time i ask jungkook look back into my eyes without answering with no bothered expression if what hoon says is true then the red liquid on your cloth is from someone you killed am i right i ask but no answer did you kill someone every night you sneak out i ask no freaking answer again silence i got silence as a reply how great i pushed jungkook away letting myself out from his legs he let me go i took two steps back you sneak out every night and kill someone the red liquid on your clothes the weapon and horn are the proofs i did not realize i am passing passing in the kitchen talking out my thoughts you are killing people i look back you stopping on my track why i ask why are you doing that jungkook for what i ask looking at him with my mouth open silence i stop it going out in middle of nights and i will not do that again that's all you need to know for now for you to stop worrying jungkook said that means you will stop killing people i asked why wouldn't he tell me is that what you are trying to say i asked again i'm not trying to say anything there is nothing important you should know about jungkook spoke calmly like every time he did when i asked about it so you will not tell me no matter what i ask i'm sure he is doing what is i am thinking he is doing well but why for what why he is killing for killing who though i said he will not sneak away that means he will stop killing if that's what he is doing those days which i am 100 percent 99 percent sure he is doing so you will stop sneaking out in the middle of night yes i ask i mean that's a relief for me kind of somewhat yes jacko answered no more coming home with red liquid clothes i ask he nodded yes promise me jungkook i ask seriously i promise jungkook replied you will stop killing or whatsoever it is then i asked trying for the last time you should eat it before it gets cold that's what he said letting me clear that he will not tell me no matter what he will not tell me if the reason for the sneaking out of for killing people for unknown reason 
he will not tell me if what i am thinking is not the truth he will not tell me what he is doing now all i have to wish for he for is that he will keep his promise that he did joku did keep his promise and i stop it asking about it to continue so everyone what do you think about this episode and what so jungle do should he tell them about his network or so why did he not telling them about his work and what do you think about thanks character and jungle's character comment it down i'll see you again with another episode till then take care of yourself bye bye